are you? Tired of feeling like you have no control over your matches, but don't want to stray away from the short-range weapon play style? Does sacrificing the sanity of your silly squid foes sometime soon sound like a superb idea? Then the Kenta Splattershot Jr. is just the weapon for you. And with a sleek black design, your weapon will actually be seen in the event of a disconnection, unlike those <laughs> other juniors. The Kenta Splattershot Jr., like its companions, is a light class weapon. That means you can dip, dive, and dodge your way around the map without putting yourself in as much danger as some other weapons would be in. Like, can you imagine an explosher trying to get from one side of the map to the other? Okay, don't even try. The moment you desire to bring your annoyance up to another level, the Kenta Splattershot Jr. is equipped with a fantastic sub-weapon, the Torpedo. You may be quick to think about the Torpedo's weaknesses, like the fact that it can be shredded, but why focus on what it can't do when you can focus on what it can do? You could track your opponent's general location. Is there a squid hiding in a corner? Throw a torpedo and find out instead of putting yourself in danger. You also get funny bonus chip damage. If a torpedo finds an opponent and goes kablamo kabloodle, you'll leave some damage for them too. This damage might even lead to an easy splat or let you and your teammates see your opponent on the map. Ooh, They might break the torpedoes instead of doing their job. How can that splatling cover the zone if they're busy knocking away torpedoes every four seconds? Oh wait, they can't. Similarly, if you throw enough torpedoes, your opponents might focus on you instead of your teammates. But of course, we're forgetting about the fun part. The part where we combine the torpedoes and the bubble blower. The very capable special given to you in this magnificent kit. Remember, no matter the mode, it never hurts to have more paint coverage. And the Kensa Jr. is going to give you that between its bubbles and its shots. You don't even need any of that silly MPU to boost your paint output. Save those slots for other cool abilities to make an even better bubble-popping, tornado-tossing, squid-slapping wolf in sheep's clothing. After all, most players you see will underestimate the strength in your little gun. Some people will call the Splattershot Jr. a baby weapon. Well, what do babies like? Bubbles! What do bubbles do? Absolutely wreck the place! Whether your bubbles are big or small, they can absolutely be a threat. Oh no, the bubble went too far and you can't reach it. What will you do? Just kidding. You have torpedoes to fix that. No bubble is too far when you can throw your sub weapon at it. Well, as long as the torpedo doesn't end up getting distracted by an opposing inkling or octoling, or uh, the bubbles get shredded while you're preparing to throw the torpedo. B -b but enough of that. Those bubbles are waiting to get popped, and your torpedo can do a great job about that. Even with your weapon's low base damage, Object Shredder gear will immediately strike fear into the hearts of your foes from the moment you start the match until it's finally over, when you win. And of course, we have some Ken savings for you if you order within the next week. If you purchase any other Kensa weapon in our collection, we will throw in a Kenza Splattershot Jr. for free with your purchase. We'll basically chuck it into your bag when you try to leave, so don't try to go without one. If you just want a Kenza Splattershot Jr., we'll happily give it to you at below MSRP, otherwise known as my shop's realish price, because let's be real, who actually sells weapons at real prices these days in this economy? For only 5,000 coins. That's almost half off. Just because this weapon is a junior, doesn't mean that we're gonna kid around. Hurry on down to Ammonites to try out this Kensa Splattershot Jr. today.